In this video, we're going to focus on the Zoom Wheel Speed option in the Chart.js plugin, Zoom in Chart.js. And basically what we're doing here is, because in the plugin of the Chart.js, you can also control the speed of your Zoom. And this is just a useful item if you want to control it. What I personally recommend is keep it as low as possible. So it's a slow but steady motion because zoom might go too fast if you increase the speed but let's try and explore this stuff as well so in here you have the wheel options we, uh, we already have it enabled which is a boolean by default the set on false but we already activated here on true what we want to do now next is the speed and in the speed the default is 0 0.1 the factor of zoom speed via mouse wheel so let's start and do this and we can oh, and we can just comma here and then put in here speed and then we say instead of 0 0.1 let's put it 0 0.5 and just see what happens then you will notice the speed will speed up here extremely as you can see here it goes faster than if we would do only this so if i refresh here and i'll just go zoom in one two three four five all right that's five times and if i do this now here on the speed 0 0.5 basically it multiplies itself so if i have one two three as you can see we're getting extremely zoomed in by just only three times zooming in here by just by three so by the moment i hit five we're that zoomed in that we're not able to spot the specific item here so this is basically not recommended the slower the better 0 0.1 the default is personally one of the best one unless you have a such a large chart we have thousands of data points at that moment you might consider to increase the speed of the zoom if that's absolutely necessary if you have like in our case we only have 100 or probably not more than 30 values yes it is like these are six and then one two three four five six so 36 values probably in total six times six because we have re we looped this multiple times so in this case it doesn't matter if you have 100 1000 and more you can increase the speed on that one Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.